Newspapers give you life as it was at the time that the newspaper is printed. So you can sort of look at a paper um, and see how it how it took, you know, a long-term event, um, the First World War, Prohibition, and see how its coverage evolved or changed or didn't evolve or change. It helps you unpack these national narratives to figure out when and where it matters and to whom. Vermont's historical newspapers are now freely available to researchers online in a nationwide effort sponsored by the Library of Congress and the National Endowment for the Humanities. The Vermont Digital Newspaper Project builds off of previous work to preserve fragile and aging newspapers on microfilm. This microfilm is the source of Vermont newspapers that are made available on the web. Digital images are created from microfilm reels, going from life in a drawer to online searchable content in Chronicling America a freely accessible national newspaper resource that now contains over 5 million pages from 25 states. The Vermont Digital Newspaper Project is part of a larger initiative to digitize newspapers from every state and U.S. territory. The project has already made available 38 newspaper titles, representing 10 of Vermont's 14 counties. That sounds like quite a few titles, but there are close to 10 times more in Vermont alone. With so much content available and so much of it in fragile condition, how does the process begin to put it on the web? Um, I've used online newspapers um, with for American History projects in the past. Um, that obviously is convenient because you you receive it immediately um, and it's already organized for you in advance by um, date and title, which are very helpful. It's amazing how much even just having that one thing available digitally speeds up and makes more efficient the other, mm -hmm. other non-digitized. Mm -hmm. Each grant cycle allows for about 100,000 digitized pages of newspapers, and that is only a fraction of what Vermont has in existence. This means that not everything is online. Instead, certain titles were specially selected by a group of experts, educators, librarians, historians, and journalists from around the state. The titles that were chosen for this project were those that were the most complete, had the most research value, the most diversity in content, and those that had not been digitized previously by another program. The Vermont Digital Newspaper Project covers 1836 to 1922. Those dates were chosen because many newspapers from the colonial and revolutionary periods have already been digitized, and anything after 1922 is not in the public domain. When I started doing my research, I have started working with newspapers in the least felicitous uh, circumstances possible. I just had to flip through page after page after page after page, hoping something would pop up, hoping that I would happen to notice it. And quite honestly, it's a painful process <laughs> um, to sit at a microfilm reader hour after hour and look at a scratched microfilm. Um, you, um, it gets very tiring. The digital images are made from the master negative, which is the microfilm created during the original filming process. Project personnel examine the microfilm frame by frame in-house, and information is recorded about volume and issue numbers, dates, and pages, as well as notes and data about inconsistencies on the film to ensure the best quality and organization for the user. Once the digital images have been created and in-house quality review has been performed, the images are uploaded to the Chronicling America website. Hyperlinks are inserted into catalog records, enabling the user to go directly to the content, or they can search and browse on the website. It's, it's really important to have a, a digital setup like this, I think, because you can search by keyword with this project. You can just put in a word and put in a name and find whatever there is. So the ability to um, search through um, a paper with keywords, which I was able to do on the one paper that was digitized, was definitely very helpful in terms of cutting down in the hours um, that I spent with it. 
Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, is the piece that helps bring the content to the user. Through OCR, the user can search on the Chronicling America website and words from the actual text of the newspapers will be matched. However, OCR technology has a long way to go. The OCR software can't always read every character or word on a page, especially if there was blurring or poor lighting during the microfilming process. But OCR technology is always improving, and despite limitations on OCR, it allows us to search millions of pages with one click of a mouse. And newspapers help to really bring you back to the everyday. You have the mix of text and uh, text and imagery, which is really interesting. Newspapers are, are a great source for finding out um, about people and about their lives. Historical newspapers are a wonderful resource that presents history as it happened. At the Vermont Digital Newspaper Project, we are really excited to bring new life to our state's great old newspapers. By bringing them to you through Chronicling America, we provide unprecedented, powerful, free access to these resources.